Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, it's Alex Bennett, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's a ramble. Yeah, and uh, in case you're wondering why, uh, well, you probably uh, don't, we're not on tonight on YouTube, neither is anybody else, neither is the entire world. It seems, as th this is big news actually, that YouTube is down all over the world tonight. Uh, so, you know, we'll start broadcasting this thing with video uh, as soon as we see that uh, it's back up again. But the th chances are uh, it may not be tonight. Uh, and uh, so uh, that's, that's uh, what's happening. <laughs> But anyway, what we're doing is we are recording the thing in video. So after the show is over, you'll be able to go to uh, YouTube. You'll be able to go to Vimeo. Uh, you'll even probably be able to go uh, to, uh, to YouTube by that time and get this program as it was done in video originally. Okay? So uh, everything being the same, uh, we've got somebody to talk to tonight. Hey there, Will Durst. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Alex Bennett? We always call you uh, when we record these things is in the morning, your time, 9 o'clock in the morning, your time, and you always look like you just got out of bed. Jeez, I wonder why that is. Uh, did you just get out of bed? I just got out of bed. Really? Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yesterday was an exciting day. We had to take uh, my lovely wife to the emergency room. She's got some sort of uh, weird gastrointestinal thing going on. Oh, boy. Oh boy! So did you have to take her today or yesterday or later? Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Yeah. Okay, is it is it better now? A uh, little. We might have to go to a specialist. Oh boy. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. The doctor mill. The doctor mill. You keep going on the doctor mill. You keep like you're like a gerbil on the doctor mill. You know. Uh, How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm trying to uh, wake up myself uh, because I've been taking this new medicine that makes me sleep like a baby. So, um, you know, it's it's not for sleeping, though. It just happens to be that's the side effect. So, it's Well, you a, wake up every 20 minutes crying? Yes, that's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, uh, a lot has been happening since we talked last. You know, the Kavanaugh thing finished itself up. Uh, yeah, every, everybody's claiming that's going to energize their base for November 6th. The Democrats claim it's going to energize their base yeah. because women are, are pissed and, and feel disenfranchised. And Republicans are convinced it'll energize their base, but I don't know why. <laughs> it, it, actually, why? It, it should have satisfied their base. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know why, I don't know why they think it's going to energize their base. Why? Because white men feel their entitlement is being threatened? You know, I saw a thing today on MSNBC where they went out to uh, Staten Island, which, you know, as we all know, New York City itself uh, is very, very democratic. You know, you can pretty well count that it's going to go Democratic in any... You're beyond blue, yeah. Beyond you're blue. blue, yeah. Yeah, you're indigo. Yeah, it, it, yeah something like that. Yeah. And uh, they went out to Staten Island, which happens to be... It has more Democrats than Republicans, but for some reason they always vote for Republicans. Hmm. And they went out there and they were interviewing people. And some people were going, well, I love Donald Trump. I love what he's doing with this country. He can't build that wall fast enough. And I'm going... Are you people fucking morons? Yeah. Do you, they are. do you believe any of that shit? No, they're just angry and they don't know why they're angry and they found uh they found some scapegoats, you know. What are they angry about? Uh when they grew up, uh life was in black and white and 
everything you saw on television was white people. Everything you saw on television yeah. was white people. And then uh, then uh, African, the blacks, the blacks took over uh, sports and music and and uh, now the Mexicans are coming in and uh, their kids, they don't understand their kids and, and uh, people aren't polite and uh, I don't know. I don't know what, I, I have no idea what they're thinking. Listen, I lived in a time where I could say to you, oh, these, those were nicer, better times. But nevertheless, I, I, I'm sorry. I grew up in a time when there was the McCarthy hearings, yeah. when there was a House on american Activity subcommittee hearings that put a lot of movie directors out of work uh, and actors. Uh, and uh, so I don't know that we've changed that much as a culture. You know, when you look at how ugly those times were and look upon these times, uh, it's a push either way, you know? Yeah, but, but people didn't, that didn't affect them, you know, political speaking. They were they were growing up in, in high school in nice little suburbs or, you know, and uh, life was idyllic. I'll tell you, it affected. They don't remember it the greasers it, and the hoods and, yeah. and the fact that you could get in trouble at your locker because you didn't pay homage to the right guy in the hallway <laughs> for any of that. They don't. They don't remember uh, uh, people being kicked out onto the street uh, because they, they were indigent and uh, they would die on the street yeah. and and hospitals wouldn't take you and you so know how, they don't remember how, that. How were those perceptively the good times? You know, I think we have to do that to survive. Yeah, you know? but but I mean, how do we look upon that as being the good times? I my entire one of my basic political teachings was going to, at age 15, a House Un-American Activity Subcommittee hearing uh, at City Hall in San Francisco. I went there because my father was protesting outside, so I just walked in and sat down and watched it. And I saw people's lives being ruined, just yeah. absolutely ruined. A guy who was a radio announcer that I listened to every morning, they got him up there, have you now, or are you now, or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? I refuse to testify. Boom, next day, no radio show. Wow. You know, so that informed a lot of my political leanings over the years. I remembered that. I remembered what had happened to these people. And, and so when I see it ever happening again, I, I fight that, you know. In some ways, I... I the Me Too movement kind of has that pat, patois, as it were, of, of uh, patina, that's the word I'm looking for, of, uh, of McCarthyism, because it is accusation without proof. It is accusation by inference. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, I, that's why, in a way, I'm against Me Too, because I like the, the idea behind Me Too. I think it's long time coming. But I don't like it in its actuality and the way it plays itself out, in which a person is accused and then, you know, he's ruined even if he didn't do anything. Right. Uh, I, I may be sounding a little like Trump where Kavanaugh was concerned, but, you know, a stop the watch is right twice a day. So, you know. Uh, so, I, uh. you know, so are times better? I don't know how these people can say times are worse today. Uh, I grew. It's just worse because they had white privilege and now they don't. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they had, and and they didn't really have any power. You know, uh, they, they, it, it's not like uh, somebody's come in and taken over. But yeah, they they felt they felt uh, that their their Pleasantville. You know, it's like that movie Pleasantville where. Uh, mm -hmm where Toby McGuire starts seeing in color, you know, right. which means that, you know, there's harder choices to be made, but there's greater rewards, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, uh, you know, I, I, I wonder what they, oh, there's the kitty, which was that Eloise? Yes. Say hi. Eloise. Good. I'm, she has an opinion too, huh? Yeah, she does. Yeah. Yeah. She did. She did. She jump up there and try to bother you while you were doing something. Uh, just talking to you. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so, you know, I mean, this whole notion that, that 
you know, uh, things were better in the old days. Uh, they were just different. The, 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 the way in which we acted out our uh, prejudices and so on were different than they are now. Well, this whole Me Too thing, I mean, how many generations has this been going on, you know? It, all, all, through all of history, men are bigger. They're, seven, eight, they're eight sevenths bigger than women. Women are vulnerable because they have that nine months of carrying the baby. So, I mean, you add those two together. Right. And men, men are always going to be, you know, uh, taking advantage. And, and other men won't out them. Uh, I, it's, it's, uh, well, uh, I, um... it's, about, it's about time, but then the pendulum always swings and it swings back and forth until it finds its midpoint. Well, I have a, an idea to bring up to you here and I, I don't know exactly how to put it because it's hard to articulate. And that is, I was thinking the other day about leaders and the reason, and we have leaders. Okay. We have uh, somebody becomes a leader, and there are all these people fighting to become the leader, all right? But why do we even allow that to go on? Why do we have to have a leader? Why do we have to have people in Washington doing all this stuff? Uh, uh, because, in fact, what we're doing is we're giving up our right to our own destinies. Interesting. Uh, the problem is there will always be somebody who wants more than he deserves, and so he will try to take it. And if he can't do it through influence, he'll take it over with power. I mean, if if we didn't have a leader, one guy who could look down and uh, say, do this, do that, do that, uh, oh. I, I think you'd have a lot of Jeeps with um, uh, 50 caliber machine guns mounted on them roaming our neighborhoods and people having to pay homage. Well, instead, the guy in the Jeep happens to be president of the United States. That's a problem. <laughs> That's the problem. See, I mean, I'm, I'm just wondering why societies feel this need to appoint a leader. You know, why they have a need to appoint people to rule over them. Oh, uh, uh, you know, is it, it maybe the rule over them when you put it that way? No, that's not what they want. They don't want rule over them. And nobody, nobody, uh, campaigns on the fact that I will be your ruler. Everybody, I am one of you. Pick me because I'm most like you. I most represent your yeah, ideas. But that, does, that doesn't work. We get a bunch of assholes. You know, well, it because is, it is me, a little bit corrupt. Me, I mean, let, let Trump's me, corruption is yeah. so large it can be seen from space. Let me profit this, okay? Uh, 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 that um, we have a tendency to uh, what? What is what? Is, what was the point I was trying to make? This is such a uh, some complicated one. Oh, well, I forgot. The leaders. Uh, the leaders. Uh, oh, um, and uh, God, I can't remember what it was exactly. It was a very elusive thought that I yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it just kind of. Pfft, I'll come back. I'll I'll remember what I was going to say. Yeah, they're representatives. That's why we call them representatives. You know, the U.S. House of Representatives. Oh, I know what it is. I know what I was going to say. Uh, okay, would you argue that police, because they hang out with each other, become kind of their own little society? Mm -hmm. and, and that police work probably doesn't attract the best people. Well, it can. But no, it but can, but it doesn't, is uh, what I'm saying. A lot, of, a lot of guys who are mercenaries and just... Who went in the army and or have no got, other who, who uh, got means beat. of relating to people? They like that power. They like or that who got authority. beaten up in school? You know, Pardon? who got beaten up in school? I remember once I met up with a cop and he I'd gone to school with him and he was a juvenile delinquent. You know, I mean it. It the the thing the police have always had a problem with is trying to weed out those who were undesirable because they were attracted to that job. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and and uh, so who's attracted to being a politician? Do you want to be a politician? Same, same thing with Boy Scout leaders. You know, you want, you want to weed out the people who are in it for the voyeuristic part or even worse. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's, 
it's one of the, the hazards of uh, the the occupational hazards. But does the know? nature of the job of being into what? Who gets into comedy? Who gets into comedy? Uh, people who have a, a need to have their ego assuaged very often uh, by large crowds that they're filling a, a void. Uh, by going on stage and uh, having people look at them and listen to them, yeah. I mean, who gets into, who gets well, into I, radio? I, I, I'm in I'm in this business because of low self esteem. No <laughs> question about it. No, there's no question about it. You know, uh, and, and uh, uh, you have to admit that when you get on a stage and you suddenly make people laugh, and then you hit them with another joke and they laugh again, you love that power over their emotions. I do. Yeah, I do. there is nothing hey, I, you say, you, you, you and I only know among this audience what it's like to stand up on a stage and control other people's emotions. Their laughter. Yeah. Well, that's that. You know. Also in bed, I like to. Uh, I like the fact that I could bring a woman to an orgasm because that's another emotion I'm controlling. Huh. <laughs> So my phone number is uh, no anyway nine one seven. But what I'm saying is, is that we have a tendency to to love this, uh, be wedded to this idea that we need leaders. And in a way, I've always been an anarchist because I believe that anarchy doesn't breed uh, 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 irresponsibility. In fact, in order to be a good anarchist, you've got to be terribly responsible. You have to know the difference between good and bad. That's kind of a fluid measure there. Yeah, well, I just thought... For instance, liberals, liberals think by helping the greater good, it'll eventually come back and benefit me. And conservatives believe the opposite. Conservatives believe by helping me, it'll eventually come back and benefit me. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice. Uh, that's a. That that's Even a. That's a circular file. If I ever saw one, you know. <laughs> um, but now um, there are a couple of things going on. To begin with, the Republicans now have a new ploy. Have you heard about heard about this new ploy to portray the Democrats as a mob? Yeah. Yeah. And that we're going to bring violence to this country if we're elected. Angry mob. Angry, Angry mob. mob. Uh, I'm sorry. I know a lot of Democrats, and if they're an angry mob, uh, you have completely diminished <laughs> the word angry mob. You're you confused know? by two words, angry <laughs> and mob. <laughs> I mean, come on, if there were ever, a, if I have an argument about my side of the aisle, it's that we're too wimpy, yep. not an angry mob. Well, that's that's what he's playing into. He's playing into yeah. the fact that Democrats are going to get organized and angry. Is Chuck and, Schumer an angry mob? Yeah, you know. angry mob. Yeah. And now the latest pissing match between uh, the, the, the orange orangutan was is uh, uh, with Elizabeth Warren, right? Right, al Pocahontas. Al although she fucked up, because if you heard the latest, she she went out and got a DNA test, which showed that six or eight six or eight generations ago she had Indian heritage. Well, we all do. Okay, uh, not me. I'm Jewish. I come from the Mid East. I, you know, we don't, There's no in. There's no Native American in me. So then. Uh, the Cherokee Nation came out and said they were upset that she did this because she diminishes it all. You know, that, that, that they don't support her at all in this desire to find out that she was Native American eight generations ago. And what she did was she wanted to prove it so that she could get the million dollars from Donald Trump that he said he would pay if she could prove it. Right. And then he reneged. What a surprise. Well, no, the, he changed it. But he says, I want to hold the DNA test. Oh, no, good. He, back, he in tr back in Trump he, laboratories, you're going to yeah. do the DNA he test? Changed the rules. What, uh, what, uh, what a shock. Well, first of all, he said it, right? And then he, in being asked the question, he said, well, I don't care what was written. It wasn't written. He said it. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't care what he says. He says whatever he says at that moment. 
Yeah. Just get him to the next moment. It's all about momentum and propulsion. He doesn't. He doesn't. He never nail him down to anything. Not one hey. single. Everything that dribbles out of his face forward gash that isn't gibberish is a lie. Hey, hey, Kasoji wasn't uh, wasn't uh, killed by uh, Saudi Arabians. It was an. Uh, a rogue group of Saudi Arabians. Rogue, rogue who, killers. Rogue killers who just happened or, to get into the Saudi asteroid. embassy. What? Or, or an asteroid. Or yeah. he got stuck in a cave like that Thai soccer team. Or or it was flesh-eating bacteria. Yeah. Or a uh, one-armed man. Yeah, uh, or, 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 or when it came to hacking a 400-pound man on his couch in a basement. Remember that <laughs> one? <laughs> 400 pound guy in the basement yeah <laughs> he sat at him yeah i mean how much longer does this guy have to lie for people to suddenly come to the real realization that he's got a problem you they know don't, don't care his supporters don't care his supporters don't care uh, he, a he is bit. pants Huh? And his supporters would say that he was it was a historic move against outdated social norms. You know, they yeah. don't care. They just make shit up. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. And now the Saudis, Saudis are are coming back. Oh, we, we didn't mean to kill him. We were just torturing him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh well, that. Yeah, whoops! Whoopsie. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, I'll tell you something. It, what you're admitting to more than anything else is you're very bad at torture. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you haven't wrapped your 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 you haven't wrapped your uh, headpiece around um, um, what torture is exactly. You yeah, know? no, yeah, yeah. torture it, is. It yeah. isn't supposed to end in death. It's supposed to end in a oh, I don't know, confession. No threat of death. No. Threat of death. Yeah. yeah. So they're even bad at that. <laughs> and then, of course, we, we can't, we absolutely can't take sanctions against them because we don't want to hurt the people working at Boeing. Jobs, yes. Yeah, and, and Lockheed. Lockheed. <laughs> he can't even pronounce Lockheed. Lockheed? <laughs> uh. mm. What are you drinking this morning? What's your, uh, what's your brew of choice today? Uh, Pete's. Uh, half uh, French roast and half fr uh, French decaf. Well, you know what I did? I got uh, this a new uh, Pete's, and I can't remember the name of it now. It's a la something or whatever, but it has a hint of chocolate and orange in it, and it oh, is terrific. It oh, is what just is it? terrific. I have to get the name for you. It's yeah, it's really you know. good. It's real good. Uh, uh, I keep forgetting it because it doesn't have a simple name. You know, right. that, I like Big Bang for a while, but that was because it was easy to remember. But this is just, <laughs> this is just, when I first got it, I went, eh, because I'd been drinking the Big Bang. And then I started drinking this and I went, wow, I like that coffee. Yeah, and they I, do, uh, every February, they do something called Supernatural, which is from Kenya. Yeah. And uh, it, it's got a little bit of blueberry in it. And I, I hate doing the, the hues and the tastes and the hints and the shadows and the whispers, but uh, it's 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 like crack. I mean, there really? is something I do, about I do. I, I usually only used to do a cup, half a cup of coffee a day, and now I'm doing two because this tastes so good. And I like it to get, I don't mind if it gets cold. I do a pot and a half a day. And you drink it all? Yeah. Boy, you're calm for a guy who drinks that much coffee. I I drink a glass of water for every cup of coffee I drink. Oh. So I can flush it out of my system. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Uh. I probably should do that every morning just to get the flush out the drugs I have to take at night to put me to sleep. So, you know. That's that's what this is. It's a bottle of water that I keep uh, It cold. looks like a bottle of vodka. Yeah, it's a quart of uh, cold water. And I'll finish this Yeah, uh, before noon. I've never been much of a water drinker. But I like the water. Yeah, water yeah. fan. What else is in the news? The only thing that Trump has done. This is. I have to, you know, give props where props are due. Uh, he came out with. They came out with a thing yesterday. They're going to force uh, um, uh, prescription companies, you know, drug companies, to reveal their prices in ads. Oh wow. 
Uh, but it, it uh, when I finally you, read it, it, they softened it a little bit. What they do is in the ad, they have to give a website you can go to to get the prices. Oh. Okay, but at Not least like that's something. Not like $30 a pill or... The, well, you know, I sometimes just for fun of it, when I see something on TV being a, you know advertised about do away with your warts or whatever, uh, and... Uh, uh, this will do this, or this will do that. Or I like the ones that tell you that if you take this, you can't. You uh, for cancer, uh, the average person lives three more weeks. That's the one I like, you know. Uh, but uh, the, I then go online. I look up the price, and it's like you know, thirty thousand dollars a month or something like that. You know. So I mean. Quit giving these people all these promises and then yanking it back when they find out how much they're going to have to pay. Now, that's the retail price. That isn't what your insurance plan pays, you know. Or what Canadians pay. Or what Canadians pay. But if you don't have insurance, you're going to pay the full price. And that's wrong, too. You should be able to pay what the insurance companies pay. You know, so anyway. Uh, he said that when he campaigned, of course. Well, yeah, by doing this, he'll probably claim that he... Well, I mean, it certainly, I can't disagree with what he did. I wish it were a little more effective. I wish the ad, the prices actually had to be on the ad on TV. I do, too. You know, that would be very effective. A price war amongst prescription drugs. Well, maybe, and maybe not. Or maybe they'd stop all this advertising because all of a sudden people are going to go, oh, come on, now you're really shining me on. You're telling me this is going to save my life and now you're charging me $30,000 a month to, to, to live, you know? So, but that, that's... Yeah. He, he, does, he does interesting things, but he's such an oaf. Yeah. I'm Sorry, a, he's, he's, an, he's an oaf and he lies. Everything, everything he I, lies. I think when he does something good, he does it by mistake. <laughs> you know, I, I think if he knew what he was really doing, he wouldn't have done it in the first place. Uh, the latest thing, and, and then I guess we got to go because we we run past the oh, time that I like yeah, to involve. Plug in. my little gig in New York. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll do that in a second. All right. uh, uh, the, the latest thing is, is that Trump is saying in a tr tweet, I don't have any business in Saudi Arabia anymore. Okay. Oh, okay, I'll buy that. All right? Maybe you don't, maybe they don't want to do business with you. Yeah, you know, whatever. They are renting at Trump Tower. They're the largest single renter in Trump Tower. Members of Saudi Arabia's population. And they are a huge, huge user of the hotel down in Washington. Yes, yes, yes. So don't yeah. tell me you don't do business with the Saudis. Maybe not in Saudi Arabia, but you certainly do business with the Saudis here. You know. But Saudis anyway. are scary. So the only country in the world yeah. named after a family. You're right. The Saud family. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. yeah. It's named after a family that still runs it. Like if we I had mean, Durst America. Der, yeah, yeah, Durstania. Durstania. <laughs> so tell them, you're going to be in New York, huh? Yeah, I'm performing my little uh, show, which is going to change drastically, because I started on November 7th in New York mm -hmm. at a theater in Midtown called the Playroom Theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, 90 minutes, and uh, I've been doing the show for a couple of years, since, uh, since January 20th. Uh, 2017, and um, it's going to change drastically the day I start, the day after the election. I'm there for two weeks, five shows each week. Uh, you can go to Eventbrite, and uh, I hope to see you there. I'll uh, put yeah, you yeah, my little guest yeah, list. Yeah, uh, let, let me uh, get, would you send me an email where it is and what times yeah. and so on? Uh -huh. I, is it on weekends too? Yeah, it's Wednesday through Sunday. Okay, good, because then I can, for two I, weeks. Can, I can go. I would love to go. Well, I would yeah, love to, yeah, yeah. I would love to see you. We should have some lunches and I'm in. And I'm and raise clean. a stein or two, although I don't drink. <laughs> I have two beers a night and that's it. I'm so boring these days. You're, well, you're like uh, you're like our uh, Supreme Court justice. 
Kevin. <laughs> I like beer. I went to no, I, I like beer from Germany. I did the sausage and beer tour in Germany, <laughs> and I uh, went to uh, Oktoberfest, which is madness. Uh, but uh, I, I performed there in um, Luxembourg and Nuremberg and Amsterdam and Cologne and Bonn and Dusseldorf. Yeah. So I did six shows. And, yeah. Also, uh, did you do the uh, punchline uh, thing, the anniversary that they had? Yeah, it was yeah. with Bobby on uh, last Thursday. Yeah, yeah. We made a big deal out of it. And then uh, the punchline, who probably owes me a check <laughs> for all the money I made them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it never, was almost never full. Even it was thought, Thursday. Never even thought to invite me. Anyway, uh, that was, you know. But uh, congratulations. Well, they're not doing that big of a deal. Really? No. How many it's years just is at it? the punchline. How many years yeah. is it? 30? 40. 40. 1978. Hey, boys. Were you there? Yeah, you were here in 78, weren't you? Uh, 78. No, I got there in 80. Uh, got there in 80. Yeah, got there in 80. Hey, Will Durst, I'm looking forward to seeing you here in New York. I'm going to see you in New in York. In fact, we can actually do this here in the studio. Yeah, I could be sitting next to you right there. You, you can sit right, 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 right yeah, here. Right there. Yeah, right. Well, it's over there, actually. Oh, okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's the wonderful, it's the attractive, it's the uh, inimitable uh, Will Durst. Inimitable. Thank, th I'll go with that. Thanks, Will. Bye. Thank you, Alex Bennett. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gavin. The Great American Broadcast Network. Hey, okay, all righty, okay, yes, sir, all righty. That's our uh, little thing with Will Durst. By the way, if a lot of you tonight are trying to get us on uh, YouTube, uh, there is a problem with YouTube tonight. It happens to be a, a, a rather interesting problem. Uh, YouTube is down worldwide, at least so far as I can, uh, as far as I can figure out here. And uh, so uh, we're not up on YouTube. But the minute I see that maybe YouTube comes alive again, I might do something about it. And, uh, and uh, uh, excuse me, I'm doing some things at the same time here. Uh, I, I may do, uh, I may, you know, bring it up on YouTube, but it doesn't seem to be working. It's been out since, they say, about 9.20 uh, this evening. And it is out, not just here in the United States, it is out worldwide, which leads me to believe somebody hacked them. That, I just, uh, just something I'm thinking about, folks, because the first thing you think about today when you get a worldwide outage like this is a major hack. And don't worry, you can't get, if you were living in Tokyo, you can't get YouTube. Uh, it's down all over the world. And uh, here, I'll just I'll click it here and just see if it comes up again. I check it every now and then to make sure that it's... Uh, oh, wait a minute. It's, it's almost up. Live stream offline. Uh, streamed live 33 minutes ago. Wait a minute. Let me see here. Maybe I can bring it up. Maybe I can make it work. Uh, let, me, let me check something else here before I do that. Uh, da, 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 da. Bring this up, and uh, it was yeah. It's it's. Let me see if I can get it up. Let me see if I can get it going here. Um, we're starting the stream, folks. Starting the stream. Let's see what happens. Let me uh, bring this up, and see what happens. No. Well, wait a minute. there we go. We're up, folks. We're up and running. We've got some video. Good. Good. That's that's nice. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me see. Let me. The lines are open, so you, we can talk to you on Skype. So uh, and, and by the way, if you want to see the whole show, including the Will Durst interview, uh, you'll be able to see that on YouTube after the show and on uh, um, Facebook after the show and Vimeo and all the other places that we usually post the video. So, uh, and it was a good interview with uh, Will Durst, by the way, and maybe you'd like to see him, and if you'd like to see him, uh, that is possible, okay? But uh, we, are now, uh, we are now up again uh, video-wise, and, uh, well, uh, it looks like this is not working that well. Hold on. Let me see what's working and what isn't working. 
There we go. Yeah, it's, it looks like we're okay. Most of the places. Oh, let me also, I've got to go over to uh, our, um, here we go, YouTube. Uh, our, okay, I've got, to, I've got to do something here for a moment, folks. I, I actually put something up on, uh, on um, YouTube. Uh, hold on a second. Um, uploading. There we go. Okay, hold on. I'll get to you in a second. Who's calling? Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Here comes, uh, 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 there's, uh, uh, let me, there we go. There we go. Uh, there we go. All right. Okay. We had some people calling. What I had to do is I had to change the sign on my, uh, on uh, GabNet that said YouTube is down and we didn't want that to be up there anymore. Okay, let's say hello to our two of our citizen panel. First of all, there's Scott Boddicker. Hello, Scott. Hello, Alex. How are you? And I'm good. you know, and thank God I can. Uh, I have a backup in that I can record the show. Uh, when it's yeah, uh, I was shocked. I went to it. I, I was going to watch the Durst thing, and I was, I was like, what? 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 Nothing was working. Yeah, yeah when I they, clicked on the YouTube button, they are. They were down worldwide. Wow. So who knows? It could have been a hack, you know. Could have been somebody. Like in Jersey. It could have been the Russians. Gab, it could have been the Russians. Gab, Gabnet broke it, or we, it was the Democratic mobs. But uh, my condolences on your friend. Uh, I'm sure you're probably aware by now, right? No. What? What? Dennis Hofda. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, last I, last I, night, I think. I didn't hear about it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it seems as though there oh, was a shut up. Of course, I heard about it. <laughs> Did you think that by now I hadn't gotten eighty four? I got a thing from Albert for crying out loud. A message from Albert saying sorry about your friend. Yeah. All right, so I gave you my condolences, and you had to fuck with me. Huh? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, you know you're 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 even gracious in death. This is this is <laughs> fuck Republican Day. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fuck with know, the Republic. He, he was the Trump of Nevada. Yeah, yeah, he was the Trump of Nevada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pimp all the way. Uh, yeah, he, um, yeah, well, he was running for a political office as a Republican uh, because he used to be an independent and he tried running under that and he couldn't win. So now he was trying as a Republican. Uh, He's probably going to win, and if he does, because his name's on the ballot. Uh, they're, they'll appoint another Republican in this place. No, they won't. Well, that's what I read. So what I read is what they do is if the, uh, uh, if the person dies, they hold another election out there. So, well, uh, what but I he, read was different. Yeah. Well, but, you know, I doubt if he's going to win because people don't yeah. feel too confident voting for a dead person. You well, know. maybe better dead than blue. They probably didn't feel that. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I mean, uh, like, I haven't talked to Dennis in a while. Um, I don't think you'll be talking to him anymore. Uh, no, I don't <laughs> think so. I wish I had called him to say goodbye. Um, or wish him a happy birthday. Uh, yeah. Well, I was <laughs> invited know. to his birthday party. I always am every year. And Do you know who was there? Huh? Do you know who was there? Well, I know some of the people that were there, yeah. Well, uh, your Jeremy buddy was there, but uh, also Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Mm -hmm. That's uh, why I was, didn't go. Yeah, I'll bet. No, that's why I didn't go. I thought you wanted one of those pink jumpsuits. Yeah, right. <laughs> fucking asshole, fucking Arpaio. Oh. I hope he wins uh, in um, uh, in Arizona. Uh, he, he's yeah, running you're, for political you're, you're office. You're just saying that to be... Be ornery. You can't possibly, as an intelligent person, find anything worthwhile in Joe Arpaio. I well, I don't think he's a pile, but uh, no, 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 I, no, no, no. He is the you know, as a Jew, you shouldn't like fascists. Okay. Well, I don't think he's a fascist. The guy was enforcing the law. You break the law, you wear pink. Uh, yeah, you know, that's he, really good. He believed in chain gangs if he could have done them. It's not bad. Oh, not bad, huh? Okay. Yeah. Do you know yeah, the movie? I, the movie that first awoke my political consciousness was a film of Paul Muni called "I Was a Prisoner from a Chain Gang," mm -hmm. a fugitive from a chain gang, 
And yeah. uh, it was a, a true story. Uh, although in those days they didn't say take him from a true story uh, about a about a, a, guy, a Netflix a, original a guy who escaped from a chain gang and yeah. spent years uh, uh, avoiding the chain gang and he was oh let me get rid of this here I don't yeah. like being that huge uh, uh, and and uh, then they caught him and he had been such a good citizen and they threw him back in prison again and it was it was a terrible story. And and it kind of raised my consciousness about this sort of thing. So, what yeah. have you? you know. Took you from being unconscious. Yeah. Well, like that, like you. Uh, <laughs> hello, Jeff. How are you? Good evening. How is how's everybody? Uh, fine, fine. Outside of the fact that Skype, uh, not Skype, but uh, YouTube was out all over the world, not just here, all over the world. So you know, but so no. What? What? Do you think that they were experimenting? Or you really think there was a hack, huh? Oh, I think it's probably a hack, yeah. Uh, either that or some really stupid people over at Google, and I don't give them credit for being that stupid. They're, no. not, they're not Republicans. Um, Maybe they are. Hello, uh, 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 Rob. You're in the dark again. We can hardly see you because the light in back of you is... Yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, so, um, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just. I'm really tired. This new pill I'm taking is making me tired, and mm. and I've gone down to one pill instead of the three he told me to take, because it does help the feet, and yet I don't get that drowsy. I'm that drowsy tonight, so I'm drinking coffee. Which means I'm definitely going to have to take that pill to put me to sleep. So. Anyway, uh, no, I, uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, I, I always kind of liked uh, um, Dennis, Dennis. Uh, because when I was out of work a long time ago, this was back oh, in the late 90s, uh, he was the one guy who kept calling me and seeing how I was doing and if I was okay. And to me, while that's saying, okay, well, he was good to me, so therefore he's an okay guy, uh, I thought that was an, a nice thing of him to do because what I found was the minute I no longer had a radio program, it's like I didn't exist, you know? And to him, I still existed. He didn't need me for anything. I couldn't do anything for him at the time, and yet he, he still would call and make sure I was okay. And when he was coming to San Francisco, he would always take me out to dinner. And uh, we had a very nice relationship. That's called a friend. He was a friend. Yeah, he was yeah. a friend. In later years, he got really uh, welled up in his celebrity, and uh, we kind of lost touch with each other, you know. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I, uh, last time I talked to him, I think we did it here on this program. So I know. remember. Yeah. Uh, in fact, maybe I, I think I did this. I did a Skype on that one, so I should probably go look to see if I can find it. Uh, yeah. And uh, maybe we'll rerun it. But, uh, you know, Dennis was okay, but it was, it was kind of surprising what, what supposedly happened. He was not at the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. He was at one of his other places. I'm trying to remember the Love name. something. The Love Ranch. Right. Where, incidentally, <clears throat> uh, 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 Lamar Odom mm -hmm. had his overdose. At that he died. Yeah. Right? No, he didn't die. No, he didn't die three days later. No, no. Oh, oh. He lived through it. Uh, and um, so Lamar uh, died, uh, didn't die, uh, but I guess uh, he did. Uh, and what happened was he supposedly they had a party the night before, some kind of, they had, had a, a, a rally and it was kind of a successful one, they felt, and they were all kind of partying and stuff. And then he went to bed. Now, let me say this about, Dennis, I, I never knew him to be much of a drug user on any level. I, I've, and I've spent social times with him. It wasn't like he brought out a vial of Coke and said, here, have some, or do you want some of the pot I have, or whatever. Really, he was not a, a drug guy. So I don't think there were any drugs involved in this. I would be very surprised. It was a hot Latin girl from no, 11 he, to he, 6 in the morning. He went to, he went to sleep, and the next morning... Uh, uh, Jeremy, uh, Ron Jeremy came to wake right. him up 
and uh, he didn't. Uh, two horrible things. Number one, dying in a horror house. But then again, you ran them, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> but the worst part is having Ron Jeremy finding your rotting corpse. You know, that to me, you know, uh, which is amazing because he came very close to being a rotting corpse himself a few years ago. Uh, yeah, I remember the picture you posted of him yeah, in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, uh, another guy I happen to like. I like Ron. But, you know. He found he found him dead. So apparently he died in his sleep. And the uh, things I did know about him was he was he had health issues. He was very he was diabetic. That was for starters. Uh, and he had a few other uh, medical problems. Uh, and uh, uh, any one of which could have been you know could have exacerbated whatever happened. So. I, you know, it's very surprising, obviously, because it's not like he went to bed the night before and everybody said he's not going to make it through the night. You know, it was like everybody said thought he was fine. And the next morning he's dead. You know, I, I think more people have that uh, Widowmaker uh, blockage than you think. And, uh, you know, these guys that are uh, who uh, just died at 65, Paul. Uh, well, that was cancer. Uh, the, the guy Alan. from Microsoft. You're yeah. talking about uh, Paul Allen. Paul Allen. Paul Allen. But that, yeah. that was that was cancer. Uh, but a lot of people, all of a sudden, they're 59, 60, and they just drop dead. And uh, I have a feeling that it's, uh, you know, that one artery that they say that if uh, you have a heart attack, and it's caused by that artery. Well, it's he, fatal. he always did have a, a weight problem. You know, he was heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, and he was diabetic. Uh, and all these things can, can lead to something like that. I don't know if it was a widow maker, but he could have had any one of a number of other uh, complications that could take place. Could have had a stroke, could have been any number of things. Yeah. But in any event, he's dead, and another one of my friends is dead. You know, and I just realized that it's probably because I've lived to be 78 so far that I have to expect that I'm going to see people dead a lot. By the way, you know, Scott Boddicker, everybody will know his name by the end of the show because his name won't go away. Uh, you I know? don't see it on the Skype. Oh, oh yeah. only when no, I No, if you, if you looked at things. the video, though, you would see oh. it. So don't forget his name, folks. We're going to ask questions later. Uh, and you spell it backwards. What's he doing? Yes. R e k c i d d o b. You're cheating. Well, I mean, it's sitting there in front of me. Yeah. Well. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, so, nothing, so, it's nothing. You, so is it, little. It's nothing you're doing, Scott. Don't worry about it. It's, it's weird. It's something here. I don't know what it is, but you know. YouTube. No, no, it's is, Skype. Is I can bring up other people's names oh. and then they go away when I don't hover over them any longer. So. No, uh, I on the Skype. Oh, I got I, rid of it. I, I got rid it. of it. I got rid yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Okay. Be paranoid. Anyway, so you know, uh, and then of course I got the uh, the news about Ronnie last week, my my ex wife, and tomorrow night she'll be on with me, and we recorded it today, and she talks all about it. She's very. She's she's handling it better than I am, mm. you know. Uh, but it's uh, it, it's um, you know she was given the the word that uh, uh, she has inoperable cancer and that uh, she can have uh, chemotherapy for the next uh, eight months and it may keep the complications from occurring and the cancer from progressing, but then it will start progressing anyway and she has about two years to live at the outset. Had she mentioned uh to you whether she was going to change anything uh about the way she um uh, does business basically uh, you know is she going to travel is she going to do anything she different she's just going to live her life like she's been living it all along you know it, it's funny when you get that uh determination it's a little too late to go traveling you know because yeah. you've got to go and get chemo every two weeks I don't if you that. elect to do that. And when the chemo's over with, you're going to be too sick to travel. So, I mean, uh, you know, to, to expect that she's going to say, oh, I think I'll go to Bali or someplace like that, you know. Yeah. Well, my, uh, really... my mother's third husband yeah. uh, had cancer, and uh, 
he started with the chemo and he said, you know, the quality of life that I'm having with this chemo, I would rather, if I'm going to live two years with chemo or one year without it, he says, I'd rather live without it. Well, she tolerated it happened. very well before, and they're going to do it only once every two weeks, and it's going to be much oh. lighter yeah. than, than chemo normally is. Because they, they're not doing it to save her life, they're doing it to prolong it. I see. Know. Uh, and, um, but it, you know, I, you'll hear the interview tomorrow. It's very, it's very good. You know, mm -hmm. she has a, a, you know, I, the thing is she has spent the last how many years of her life, 15 years writing about what it's like to get old. And now she's writing about what it's like to die, which is part of what it's like to get old. It's part of that process cycle. Yeah. Yeah. And I think when she's through her body of work is going to be very important you know, to people, to read and to, to look at. And I, I tell everybody, go over to uh, 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 timegoesby.net. It's, it's a very good blog. It's an excellent blog. So. All right. There you go, you know. So, uh, any, uh, anything else? Uh, well, how, about, that... how about that DNA test? Uh, Elizabeth Warren. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, well, I th I think you were like a deer in the headlights. So I no, figured I'd give no, you a hand. No, a no, no. I, I just, uh, you know, I mean, I think it was stupid of her to do it. Uh, because then she got the Cherokee Nation down on her ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know? Is somebody that's 1,024th? No, that's according uh, to Trump. You're looking at Trump's tweet. It's not 1,024th. <laughs> Well, yeah. or tenth generation. It was a, uh, like also a sixth generation, something like six that. To ten. Six the to ten. The interesting thing six. is, is that they didn't use to compare the markers any DNA from actual Native Americans. They used them from South Americans. Uh, now, maybe some South Americans have some of this Indian in them. What do you think Indians were? Uh, and by I the way, they aren't called and they aren't called Indians, Phil. And our president called them Indians today. I thought they came it's, from the it's uh, Native uh, American, the Arctic, it's or Native from uh, yeah. Russia. What you know, Siberia, Russia. They they came over uh, the Bering well, so Strait. Well, so did the Mexicans. I mean, you, don't you have you ever looked at the history of the world and how the civilizations came to be and where they traveled from? There was nobody. Yeah, the, there was nobody on this continent. And they came I, over the Bering Straits, yeah, they came and some of them from, went down into Russia. Arizona and New Mexico, and then some of them went further down into Mexico and populated that area. Yeah, you, and you don't think that it all started in Africa, and then as the continents it all moved started, apart? It all started in Africa. Right, and as the continents moved apart, those pe the they people were already, or they, elements they were, that were they living were, on those were, continents. Phil, they were already moved apart. Vastly. Boy, Depends you know, which... you know, you know nothing. Oh, thank really. you. Really? Did they rode the dinosaurs to America? <laughs> yeah, they rode the yes. dinosaurs to America. Yeah, yeah. The swimming yeah. dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. That's the why flight, I like sharks. Oh, the, the big one with the wings, and you fly. You could fly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Flying. I'm flying. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess it was another uh, uh, climate change. Yeah, but anyway, uh, it, it, the um, uh, it, it all started. Of course, it all started in Africa. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, they moved around. But how did they get? They didn't sail from Africa to South America uh, or to the United or to See, uh, the well, Americas. I'll, in I'll show you how he knows how little he knows about civilization. What were the Neanderthals? Uh, people like Alex Bennett. No, 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 uh, no, no. The Neanderthals were uh, uh, you know, homo sapiens uh, that no. uh, early no. homo sapiens. No, they weren't. I don't think so. No. So were they simians? No. They were they were Neanderthals. All right. And they popul didn't they just find they populated, uh, a, they a Neanderthal bone? They found the lots of Neanderthal bones. Yeah, in the well, White House. In the a White child. House. It was a they had to wrestle child. it from the dog. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, that, was, that was funny. They said they found this uh, Neanderthal child. Yeah. And they said, it, it appears he was eaten by a large bird. How the hell would they know that? I don't know. Bird, bird marks? marks. <laughs> bird, bird, bird pooper 
around him or something? Beak, I don't know. Beak marks. Beak, beak marks. Yeah. Beak marks? Yeah, beak yeah. marks. Mm. Could have been a saber-toothed tiger. Yeah. I don't know. Of course, it was a skeleton. How do you find beak marks? But anyway, the point, no, the Neanderthals, uh, you, see, you don't know anything. I'm not going to tell you. The Neander, okay. The Neanderthals were a race of people who lived side by side with the Homo sapiens. And the Homo sapiens, they died because the Homo sapiens pushed them to the sea, because they uh, they didn't have they did not have a social uh, structure, right. and right. because they didn't have a social structure, they had no way to protect themselves. They couldn't go to the movies. They couldn't go to the movies, right? Well, you can't. Yeah, they would use their cell phones at the movies. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Should, yeah is yeah, another right reason out. to push them into the sea. Yeah. But uh, 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 it, it's very interesting because I used to think that Neanderthals were like cavemen and then the Homo yeah. sapiens came along. But no, the Homo sapiens lived side by side, in fact, were the reason for the, the uh, they literally chased them to the sea where they perished. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of like Republicans. Yeah. 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 I agree. Uh, <laughs> you said it. I didn't. Yeah. Well, you know, they chased the Dems to the sea. Yeah. You know, we'll see this blue wave, you know. Well, I don't know if there's going to be a blue wave or not. I certainly hope so, but I don't know if there's going to be. Nah. Nah, I don't think so. I, think, I don't, I, I don't I, even I think, think they're going to I, lose the House. No, I think I think the, the Republicans will lose the House, but they're not going to lose the Senate. You know, that's about how it's going to be. Um, although there are a few races, like yours in Texas, uh, um, Scott. Scott. <laughs> Oh, Scott. Bet, Beto, Give me time. Uh, I'll come up with your name, okay? It was up on the it screen. It was on the screen. Put it back <laughs> on the screen, yeah. Uh, uh, Scott, uh, the Tom, uh, Tom Cruise, the Ted Cruise, uh, <laughs> Be Beto, is it called? Is that how you pronounce his name? It's. I think his real name's like Ro Roberto, but he goes by Beto. Beto, yeah. yeah. Uh, Beto. Beto, and what's his last He's name? using an assumed name. Beto O'Rourke. It, it looks but like I think he's I think he's Hispanic, but he's got this I, Irish yeah. name. I don't, how, how, I don't know. It's how's weird. The, how's the race going right now? Uh Cruz should win, but Beto Bet, is so much smarter than that ass. He's also got thirty million bucks more than T Ted Cruz has. Yeah, mm -hmm. first campaign. Yeah, but. Um, uh, He's he's a socialist. I, I listened to his but debate. No, hey, fuck uh, fuck you with he's a socialist. It doesn't matter. You talk about socialists like oh, it's, but a, it it's does. bad. The, like, oh, like, but it like does it's, because social because that's exactly what people think. Exactly the way Phil thinks. So that it does matter. Unfortunately, you know. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he was he was involved in a socialistic project, which was called being in the police department. Yeah, <laughs> that that is a uh, standard. It's a so, it's a it's a socialist socialistic. organization. No, if yeah. you, the fire department is socialistic, and, and so is the police department. It's where, uh, uh, you know, we, no, uh, the police officers, other than myself, they were paid professionals. And uh, that's where does fine. socialism paid uh, by who? Socialism well, paid because, by this uh, because by the, by the, the city or the county. It's because yeah. they were paid by because by they're the, performing the a service. Yeah, providing a service, much like Medicare, much like a lot of other things. Yeah, but if you have, uh, you know, the only Medicare difference between fine. Medicare, into Medicare, the only thing but difference between Medicare and the police is the police uh, kill people. Yeah. yeah uh, well, then you can use your Medicare to uh, pull out the bullet. But yeah, yeah. you know that this, uh, this Beto wants Medicare for all, and what that's well, going to do is. is it, yeah. yeah, it's gonna oh. it's gonna bankrupt it, and oh. you oh, yeah, 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 will you how come how come how come how come how come England isn't bankrupt? How come yeah, France how come isn't bankrupt? How come waste? Sweden isn't bankrupt? That's bullshit, Phil. I no, know people. I, I, have, I heard it tonight I, on a debate. I know people, well, and your Beto O'Rourke, uh, yeah, yeah, your socialist, didn't didn't deny it. That's great, but I have a friend from the the UK, and and he tells me that's all bullshit. There's no six month wait. Is he sick? So, no, he's not sick. No. That's why he doesn't have to wait. No, there's no six huh? month wait. It, you know. It, it, yes, if he you doesn't have he, any it, reason to, to to need anything, then he doesn't uh, hasn't experienced firsthand what other people have had oh, to do. So there. you, you, you to haven't, you, he Phil. You don't live in England. There. You haven't experienced it at all. How dare you sit there and say they exist this way? Look, 
That's because true. you watch Many because people... you watch some debate and some stupid Republican said it. Of course, didn't get uh, denied by uh, the Democrat. I'll deny it. I know people from England who say that it's the best. It's it, it's <clears throat> wonderful. I know people in Canada who say that this assumption that somehow you have to wait six months to get something done under Look Medicaid, at two years. Under Look the, at all the stuff that Jim what Browning used to go through. Yeah. All the from Canada. Look at all the stuff Jim Browning went through. He didn't wait six months I, I, or a I year. I seem to remember that uh, he he was waiting for a medication. He was waiting for other things. I didn't listen too much to him. No, I never he heard like that. Me. He was very happy with. He was very happy with the system. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, well, I've talked to other Canadians that say they're happy with that system, but I don't believe that the American government can. Create and well, then what you're saying is the American kind of government sucks and is stupid. That's what yeah. you're saying, basically. Yeah, as long as the Democrats are in there handing out the pork. Oh, yeah. Oh, we we uh, who raised the debt this time around? Oh, I don't know. Well, you mean you mean it, it got to twenty trillion because of Trump? No, it, it went from fifteen to to I believe nineteen under. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, under Obama, you know, he was spending money because of what Bush did to this country to try to he, bring the country he, back. Yeah, he now, had to, he supposedly had to, this we he this uh, Trump guy has the best economy. Everybody's working, and the and how is it that when that happens that the deficit gets worse? Because he had to fund the military, which was oh, underfunded oh, by Obama. Well, why, don't sure. you, why don't you try? And, and why don't you try another thing, Phil? He, he gave yeah. this tax deal that just really sucks and is going to cost this country a fortune. Yeah, and, you know, there's going to be one more tax cut coming up. And uh, hopefully the uh, Republican Congress, uh, as well as the Senate, will get that pushed through. You know, that's that's what we need is less taxes. Yeah. And uh, oh, OK. The, then, okay. And then as so, the economy and we lead the and then, we, then, better, then, you, then you'll get less roads and you'll get less schools and you get less of everything. Less not less. necessarily. If you have a better economy, what will end up uh, happening is there'll be more revenue. How much better of an economy. According to Trump, this is the best economy the United States has ever had. And and well, it is a good economy right now, much better so than it has been through that lackluster recovery that we had under Obama. What are the so markers? Why the deficit, what, are, what are the then? markers why the of deficit? Yeah, yeah, the deficit was there. We we've already borrowed. They added to it. Added to it. Mm -hmm. Well, so sometimes you got to invest, but you know the deficit. Will, Wait a minute, you've uh, got to invest. Is that, is, that your, is that your idea of how though? we do We didn't have to invest deficit? right before George Bush almost put the uh, for sale sign on this country. We didn't have to do any investing then, did we? Everybody no, complains uh, about uh, the deficit. You know, that, this, this country has been being sold out to the Chinese for, oh, uh, for, uh, for between Clinton, bullshit, uh, bullshit, Bush bullshit, one, bullshit, Bush bullshit, two. bullshit, 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 bullshit. And Obama. Bullshit. Uh, you know, even B Bullshit. Bush wanted to You know to something? Let... Why don't you just go online, go get a, a Trump a playbook, and just read it to us, because that's what you're doing right now. Well, hey, look, you, you know, you, you know, you he got lives a in a world. He lives in a world that was invented well, by Goebbels that said, if you say a lie enough, people will believe it. Maybe well, his playbook is more accurate, and, and it is the truth. And if you don't like hearing the truth, that's too bad. You know, it's I love, uh, I love hearing the truth, but I'm not going to hear it from a bold faced fucking liar. Yeah, you're not going to hear it from him. There's no that's truth right. to anything he says. All yeah. right. Uh, Stormy Daniels. Yes. Horse face. Yeah. yeah. Horse face. Now, you know, she's going to have to pay. No, she's yeah. not. Yeah. They uh, they uh, found that uh, uh, she's responsible for uh, Trump's attorney's fees. She'll never pay. Why not? Because she'll just never pay. Well, Don't worry. She'll just do a lap dance for him. Yeah, yeah really. Avenatti will keep from paying him. Yeah. Yeah. Avenatti might have to pay. No. You know? No. It's just, no. Uh, well, anyway. Uh, you know, you believe all these lies you're fed, Phil. So I can't well, even change your see, mind on you, any you of You think that the truth is a lie because it doesn't agree with your uh, a vision of... Uh, this utopian world that you want to be in. 
you know, it, it'd be different if uh, if you were open to some some of the things that are going on around you. I don't but, want a utopian uh, you're world. You're listening to MSNBC. I want, Phil, I don't want a utopian world. I want a world in which this government, which I would like to think is the greatest government in the world, acts like it and takes care of its people. So why did yeah, Obama go around for apologizing for it? I, I, I think membership should have its privileges, and it doesn't. Yeah. I, I don't I don't agree that uh, we need to go around apologizing. It's time that we stood and, and for our own uh, benefits. Uh, you know, we've, we've been given away our natural resources. We've been given away our jobs. We've been given away. Uh, you know, we're well, funding and and Trump you, and Trump, and, Trump is, and and speaking of giving away natural resources, Trump has been giving away our natural resources by what he's doing to the National Park Service. Uh, you know. Opening up, uh, you didn't answer that uh, one, Phil. You land. didn't answer that one, Phil. Well, uh, a, a, a lot of this uh, park service stuff was a little onerous, but what I Why wanted was, to say, how was it onerous, a Phil? Onerous. Well, because they, you know, if you don't cut trees, uh, <laughs> eventually what happens is you end up with a fire. You oh, have yeah. to harvest uh, this uh, stuff. Don't you understand that fires are a natural part of a forest life? Yeah, but if you it, but if you harvest uh, that lumber no, you don't, instead of it you going don't, to waste, you don't, you don't harvest it because then you cause a bigger problem because fires then become more pervasive as a result, and you also don't have the the uh, lumber in the ground to keep it from uh, from uh, 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 you know uh, getting flooded and so on. Phil, you know nothing about this, so don't even start. You're not a you're not an ecologist. You have no idea what it's all about. How do you, you no know I where I stand on ecology? You know, I I believe that there are certain things whether it's what's uh, wrong, shooting what's gear. What's wrong with these f national parks? What is wrong? There's nothing with wrong with national parks. Well, then parks. why why is he trying to uh, uh, cut them down to make them smaller uh, and so on? Why? Why is he? I don't know. Why is he allowing people to kill baby wolves now? Did you hear he just signed that one? No, I didn't hear anything yes, about that. Yes, he did. But uh, you know, you know uh, what, what, he must have a reason for uh, reducing the amount of national parks. I don't know what their reason is. Well, then why don't uh, you go I, find out? Because I'm sure I you'll find know. out. It's it's a wonderful answer, Phil. You'll love his what? answer. Well, uh, the Guatemalans, for instance, they're coming up in, in droves uh, from in caravans. <laughs> Where did that come from? We're talking well, I, about I, forests, and you're I'm going to Guatemalans coming up. <laughs> yeah, well, what Trump is Yeah, the Guatemalans is, are coming up, and they're inhabiting our, our the, all that land that's our national that forest. We met a Guatemalan. That's right. Yeah. So anyway, what Here today, Trump is Guatemalan. Hey, if they keep if they keep coming up, we'll just cut off the aid uh, you know, the, the monies that we send to, uh, I believe it's Guatemala. And I think it's one and a half billion dollars, uh, you know, because uh, well, he wants he, border he, security. All of a sudden, he picks these, these things out of his fucking ass because we're on one news. subject. You're like Trump. We're on one subject okay. and you're bringing up another one. I told one. you, I you're, don't know why. You know, you're Trump only, you're only about two subjects. You're only about two subjects every 10 minutes short of Kanye West. <laughs> Okay, I told you, I don't know why he wants to shut down the parks or, or reduce the national parks. Well, it's to keep They're, the Guatemalans from coming up here. Okay, yeah. So why, why do you think, what's his reason you, uh, that you've heard that he wants to shut down these parks? I don't know, because he's an That's asshole. Because he's an asshole, because he wants... But you support him, we don't. He wants people to be able to, to drill for oil and uh, and use the wood and not have to save these wildlife refuges. Refuges. Well, strip refuges. the country, strip the the planet of any uh, resources. You talk about saving resources. Doesn't he want uh, a, a reasonable amount of commerce uh, in in these? I'll tell places you what he that, has become good that, at. What he has become very very good at is an apologist for the Saudi family. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, you know, I mean, if the guy was writing nasty shit about me, oh, I think they did him a favor. Damn it. Damn it. God you damn know. it. Hey, fuck you. you know, fuck we don't you. need to be fuck, telling fuck other you. countries you and the Trump how to run wrote their thing. You know, our country, we don't go in and kill the journalists, although maybe we should. But, uh, you know, <laughs> this guy. Oh, wait a minute. Let, huh? Hey, Jeff's saying something. Ah, okay, he hasn't said anything ahead. all night. Let's hear from him. <laughs> Wasn't this guy a, 
he worked in the United States. Yes. Yeah. He, yes. Yeah, he was a uh, work for the he was a Washington contributor Post. to the Washington Post. <laughs> no. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it was okay if he got killed. No. Because another but, country did it. Well, you know, all I know is is that you know when Trump doesn't want to get us involved in a war. Uh, you, you guys are uh, think that that's terrible. But when Bush got us involved in uh, in Syria uh, and Trump didn't want that, uh, you guys thought that that was terrible. So here we have a president that doesn't want to involve us in these world conflicts because it's he feels that it's not any of our business. And uh, and as and as heinous as this was to take this guy and chop him up uh, and ruin his his uh, his wedding. Uh, this, uh, you know, it, it's a terrible thing, but you know, it's none of our business. Wait a minute, I love that and, that juxtaposition you put in there about chopping him up and then making him miss his wedding. You know? Well, uh, he, he didn't he didn't get his uh, his uh, permit to marry. I don't think. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But. You know this. This it's it's a it's a terrible thing. But people are being killed all over the world. Oh no and, no no no! no, no where no, no, where no, no. is the outrage? Don't don't go what aboutism. Don't go off hey, on another tangent. Why not? Just because something else is wrong doesn't make this any less wrong. But there's but there's no no. Outrage. Don't minimize it by trying to compare it to something yeah, else. I, no, I, I don't go for that argument. Well, I, I of course, you don't, of course you don't, because you'd lose every in your mind you'd lose every argument we throw at you. Well, no, it's just, it's very simple. The, you know, if you look around at the kinds of things that are going on in, in other parts of the world, uh, terrible stuff, why should we cut off our nose to spite our face? Why shouldn't we sell the arms to the Saudis? Because if we don't, uh, the French will or the, or the because, Russians will. Phil, because, Phil, we should have a certain... We, yeah, we, we should feel that we have a moral obligation to do what's right, even, uh, if, it is, wait a minute, even if it is at our own expense because right. we stand up for what is morally correct. No. Uh, no, you know, no, stand we up don't for what's stand. morally correct, then you'd stand up for the Israelis. Oh, jeez. He, he, he always shifts it. He's like Kanye West. He, he changes the subject every two seconds. Oh, hey, there's a lot of subjects put, to hey, cover. Put, put your little red hat on and feel like Superman. Uh, what do you want? What do you want to say, Jeff? A little bit of truth. That would be an interesting thing for our country. Again. Yeah. 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 You know, and from both sides. I mean, uh, sometimes we do we do what's mo uh, what's morally correct rather than what's uh, financially expeditious, you know, because you don't put a price on morality. Or when you have a president who doesn't have any morals or scruples, you do what's expedient. I have did, a you president. Like, did you like? like it, did Trump. you love think his about, answer yeah, to Les it, Did you love his think answer to Leslie Stahl the other night? Yeah. I'm the president. And you're not. You have, a yeah, he, you have a president who could give a damn. He didn't live a very pious or righteous life his whole life. He's done nothing but hang with hookers and, and looking at young girls and pageants and, and getting peed on or whatever else he does. And now he's got the religious right on his side because they and they wouldn't look at him. They'd spit at him sooner. But all they're doing is they're getting their their conservative Supreme Court to knock down Roe v. Wade and they'll overlook everything anything that he stands for but that's why he does what he does for them because he doesn't give a damn who's on the supreme court he has a means to an end and whatever that is we don't know but he has no scruples and no morals there's nothing in his heart except donald trump that democratic playbook yeah mm, you know uh sure. You know, the guy promised that he was going to look out for America's economy. He promised first, something and that's else. What he's he doing. promised something else, Phil. He promised that if Elizabeth Warren could come up with a DNA test that showed she had some Indian blood in her, he'd give her a million dollars. That well, was a where's, phony. Where's test. the check? Phony. That was so phony. Uh, you know. How do you know it was phony? Because she had her guy do it, and then when they tell her that you know she's uh, mainly. Uh, can you check the box that you're an American Indian based on that DNA test? No. Could, could you? Uh, could yes. you? If I had that test, that, that test, yeah, 
I could. Yeah, so you'd say that if you were, uh, if you had somebody six or ten generations I wouldn't, back, I wouldn't, say, I, I wouldn't say that I was a large amount of Indian, but I had some Indian blood in well, me. And he claimed, did, he claimed that if she took a DNA test and if it showed that she had any uh, Indian blood in her, that he would give, a, give her a million dollars and he, I, he should be writing the check right now. He, she doesn't have any Indian blood in her. No, they, the, no, the no. test didn't even uh, didn't even confirm that there was Indian blood. Oh yes, uh, yes. And and yes. and she said she was a member of two tribes. Uh, you, you, you ever hear of something called stolen valor? This is nothing more than using uh, uh, a uh, a program to better herself. She's dishonest. She lied and call. Call her what she is. She's a con person. Well, yeah, this she may, this did that. This may, she did that to get this a job. May, this may amaze you, Phil, but you're not bothering me because, quite frankly, I'm not a fan of Elizabeth Warren's. All right. Uh, regard, regardless of whether you're a fan or not, but I just think is, is I just wrong. think that if he's made a boast, you got he such would, a high moral. That he would come up with a million dollars if she could show that she had some Indian blood in her, and she did. He should give her write a check. Let, you know, he doesn't have, didn't a, show, he doesn't have he didn't a million show, dollars. He to didn't spare. show. She didn't show that. And even the Indians are saying that uh, no DNA test. No, they they didn't say that. Wasn't up to, that wasn't what they said at all. Them to make the decision. They it said that she Trump was not a member made, of the community. No, no they did. They they. And, it and does, he, no, she's he, not a member of the Indian community. But that is not what Trump said. He said, if you can show you have any Indian blood in you, I will give you a million dollars. She showed she had some Indian blood in her, however minuscule it was. He owes her a million dollars. Put, put up, pony up, pal. Now, because what she said was that she had uh, 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 Indian blood in her, and I don't believe that this DNA test really proved that. Uh, and uh, neither nobody does cares I believe what you York think, Times. Phil. Nobody cares what you think. The New York Times didn't even believe it. <laughs> the failing New York Times. You mean the, the, I mean New the New York, York Times. Times that you all hate? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, they, all of a sudden, it's you're it's all good the, to quote it when it when it fits your purpose. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. hey, it was them that said it. Fake news, then I guess, huh? Look, I think it was, I think it was a big news. mistake on her part to reveal the test or to even come out with it. But uh, she's planning. Actually, on since it was so minimal, uh, she's planning uh, on running for president. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, the only thing that I uh, I wish is that uh, um, Gavin Newsom were a little further along in his career that he could run for president in 2020 because I think he could beat the pants out of Trump. Yeah. Well, Gavin what is she going to run in uh, the Tomahawk Gavin party? Gavin Newsom is running for governor of California. He's currently the lieutenant governor of New York, and uh, it, okay. it, much to the chagrin of a lot of left right wingers. He's the guy that actually started the whole gay marriage movement. He's the guy in San Francisco, was the mayor of San Francisco, who made it a law that uh, gays could marry in San Francisco. Well, and, well, you and, know, and, and that was, let he, me finish. Can I finish, Phil? I'm trying yeah, to, I live in San Francisco. I'm trying to tell people, gonna... well, that doesn't mean you have the floor right now. All right. Okay. So mop the floor. Go ahead. What I was going to say is he's the guy that started the whole impetus across the country for this thing by simply making it legal in San Francisco. And okay. uh, I think that took a lot of courage on his part. He's not gay. He had no no uh, uh, skin, in skin in the game. Uh, and yet he did it. And uh, I think that he was he's terrific. And I think that he one day is going to run for president and has a good shot at winning because he's a good looking guy. He's articulate and he's a political maverick. You know, he sounds like well, a socialist to me. Yeah, he uh, he represented when he was a supervisor as well as the mayor. Uh, uh, he represented an area of San Francisco that had a large gay population, and he was doing his job. But when he was mayor of San Fran when he was mayor when he was, he was mayor of San Francisco, he didn't have to do it. No, but even before he was mayor of San Francisco, he was a supervisor. No, but, and when but who he was cares? A, I'm not. When he did this, when he was mayor of San Francisco, and he was representing everybody, so he wasn't yes. doing it for his constituency. Well, the constituency in San Francisco has a rather large gay population, and uh, but not you know, that and, large. Not as large as America would like to think. Yeah. Well, 
you know, the one thing that you say about Gavin Newsom, even though he's got great hair, is that uh, I don't know how well his story plays to the rest of America other than New York uh, and Just and wait. California. I probably won't be alive when this guy becomes president. But uh, you just watch. You just watch. Uh, uh, you know, but I, th I think that the Democrats have to start looking for their nuclear option. They have to start looking for somebody who can run in 2000 who is going to be able to win. And I don't think that Elizabeth Warren is that person. It's got to be somebody new like a Barack Obama showing up. It's got to be somebody who comes out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't it have really baggage. Does. Who doesn't have baggage. Any, no baggage, yeah. And Gavin Newsom has plenty of baggage. You know, his, uh, his uh, ex-wife is now dating Donald Trump's son. So, Don Jr. So what is that, what's, that just proves uh, he was and, right. He was right in divorcing her. No, no. You know, he uh, she divorced him because he I cheated, know, on, he her cheated her on her with his with best friend, with her best friend, his her, uh, his, his best friend, his best friend's uh, wife. Wife. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'd vote for him. He has my <laughs> he has the kind of moral quality, I think, that uh, that Republicans should admire. Would embrace. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sounds like a yeah. great guy. Is he yeah, a wonderful guy. Hmm? Yeah. Well, you know, he uh, there isn't a tax he doesn't like. Yeah. And uh, I I don't know. I, I got a feeling this guy Cox may give him a run for his money. The uh, Republican. Nah, uh, nah, nah, he's got it. He's got it. You think so? Yeah. yeah. He ain't going to have to breathe heavy to win this one. Well, you know, just just like a lot of people said that uh, it didn't come out of the closet when Trump was running, but on election day they voted for him. The guy that they said couldn't win and could never ha clear a path to 270, uh, all of a sudden the silent majority came out and voted for him. And uh, the same thing might happen with Cox, you know, with the gas tax and the other things that are going on in uh, California. Uh, I, I think there's a lot of disgruntled people that are going to get up and vote. Well, I think that what's going to happen is I think that by Election Day, and this is my thinking on it, this so-called uh, uh, resurgence of Republicans and their, their, how mad they were at the whole um, uh, Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh deal uh, will have dissipated. Because people forget really fast, and they're at the a, news cycle is so quick these days. Yeah, I mean, Th that, every that, day that, there's that, another headline that takes over. Already, that they passion is gone. Forget. The only thing they're doing is they're trying to portray the Democrats as a mob uh, who's going to riot if they don't get their way. Okay. Well, they do. What? Oh no! They you know, don't. Antifa. You, you got Ted what? Cruz and his wife couldn't go to dinner. You got uh, this other what, one that what, gets what, uh, what, run what, out of the restaurant. Yeah. Oh yeah. There are riots every day by Democrats. You know, I, you, wish you these, Demo I wish more I wish more Democrats would riot. I wish they tear right down fucking speakers. buildings. Okay. Uh, but they don't do that. It's your yeah, guys. It's your guys in Charlottesville, for instance, who are members of the Ku Klux Klan and the American Nazi the Party. One guy was a bad driver. He couldn't back up and, uh, you know, ended it's up hitting funny, this poor Phil. girl. It's not funny. No, okay. But, you know, the, the thing is, uh, a lot of people want to rewrite history. You know, they, they want to tear down these uh, Well, no, the, uh, rewriting history... Oh, you want to tear down monuments, monuments to the Confederacy, which enforced yeah. slavery, which was fighting for slavery. You really think they were we should, fighting for economic you superiority? Down, you know, slavery had nothing. It was was a pawn. You know, uh, the South, uh, the North only oh, wanted boy. to take slavery away Phil's so that they could rewriting uh, history now. So they could make the South uh, succumb. Rob, would you to, do me a favor and take over here? Thank you. <laughs> Why, you got to go to the bathroom? No, I'm just getting a headache. Uh, all right. Well, let's change the subject. Anything else new? Oh, yeah. There's, uh, I, I'll announce early. And I'm not running for office, but tomorrow I won't be here. It's, uh, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's photo Wednesday. You're going to be here tomorrow, right? Night, night right, Scott? What? Yeah. Uh, your yeah. mic's off. I have to mute myself so I don't yell at Phil and say <laughs> and go to confession. So yeah. I, I, I shut myself off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we don't want him having to go to confession too often because mm -hmm. of his 
feelings yeah, about well, film. I was trying to give you some fire and fury, so you know, t tomorrow you'd get uh, uh, you know a bunch of liberals that would be uh, you know not have to uh, be uh, challenged. So by uh, someone yeah. that doesn't believe their uh, stories. So Phil will now tell us what Kanye West was saying. Uh, I, I love you, man. <laughs> as well as uh, he. Uh, now I got to think about that again because I I remembered. Hey, what he was look. Saying. Even Trump couldn't figure out what he it was. was saying. It was it uh, was um, uh, prison reform. No, and, that was uh, that, that was f five seconds of it. Well, okay. Well, that's uh, they one of the say he was they saying. say that in ten minutes he changed the subject forty times. Yeah, he did sort of ramble. Yeah. You, you think? Know, may, maybe it's kind of like this show. What's the name of this show? A ramble. <laughs> so, you know, did you name it after Conway West? Conway West? Con Kanye, Kanye. <laughs> I, I don't speak Ebonic. I like that Conway West. He's a good guy. Conway, Conway Twitty? Con yeah. <laughs> Kanye, Kanye. What, what kind of name is Kanye. Although he went to Africa and he, st he was in Uganda with the Ugandan president, and he was very rational with the Ugandan president. Maybe, Isn't that Idi Amin? Maybe what happens when you're in Trump the White House? Trump brings that out in I people. think, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, um, lunacy begets lunacy. Wait, wait right? a minute. Uh, I know that Idi Amin was uh, a Ugandan president. Yeah, he still yeah. is. He no. still is. Yeah, he no, still he's is dead. Still. I, I thought he died of uh, some some sort of malady. Syphilis. Uh, syphilis, yeah. yeah. Syphilis done. You know, he's everybody's dad. Who? Idi Amin. Da da. Right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Uh, Even kids know his name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, thank little for, kids. Yeah, but anyway, he's in Uganda with Kim, and uh, it was a very, uh, he was very rational and he was going around giving kids sneakers and stuff like that you know uh and uh doing a really nice job i mean all of a sudden he's rational there it was just in the white house it brought the crazy out in him uh, i don't know you know like not everybody uh Phil, come, what, comes across I, the I right way i don't understand the, every this, situation this, this this lens you see the world through right now yeah it's an interesting prism. Isn't it an interesting prism? It's like... Um... Absolutely. How is it... What is it like to have to rationalize everything that, that you hear? You've got I to don't. have a certain... You don't. You, you, you've you rationalized... <clears throat> you rationalize a nut. Kanye West goes into the White House and, and the whole world, the whole rational world is like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? And the president is entertaining it because... There aren't that many people who are famous who would have anything to do with him. So you're rationalizing his behavior, his strange behavior. Instead you know, of saying, yeah, he was me, fucking Excuse weird. me. Excuse me. He, uh, Rob, I'll have to take homage, uh, umbrage with you on that. Take homage? Take umbrage with you on that. Um, uh, you, you forget Scott Baio. Okay. Oh, right. Well, you look, go. you know, there's been a number of people that – a lot of us think that um, aren't, you know, really straight up guys like Kim Jong Un, uh, Putin and, and a number of other uh, people that Trump has not called out and just listened to in the effort to bring people together and to not have yeah. the kind in of that same, uh, in that same camaraderie conflicts. that he that he that same camaraderie he offers to Elizabeth Warren and others like her. Well, that's because yeah. she's uh, uh, she's stealing. Um, uh, no, no, she's stealing no, from no. the people at why, Harvard. Why is it that she, all the people he calls ugly, stupid, whatever, are either black or women? They never. He never calls anybody stupid who's white. He doesn't know you. No, he he wouldn't he wouldn't call me stupid because I'm white. He just wouldn't uh, give me a chance. You know. Uh, you know he goes after blacks. He goes after what did, women. I mean, what, did, what? what did he call? He, uh, Ted Cruz. I mean, look, you can, uh, say, a lot, you can say a lot of things about uh, uh, what Stormy Daniels, but the one thing you can't call her is a horse face. I'm sorry. And if it was a horse face, then he liked to put his dick in her muzzle. Right. I was going to say he yeah. fucked a horse face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. You know, uh, I think, oh, by the, I by the way, did you see what she wrote back? Kind of she wrote back. You can say whatever you want to about me. Why blah, is blah, it blah, trivial? Blah. Wait a minute. Did you see what she wrote 
today. She wrote something yeah. where they she was coming back at what he had said, and at the end, her last word was tiny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just think that it takes away... Uh, why is it trivial, uh, Rob? Because uh, doing these things uh, is is small, and it's... Uh, that's who he is. Uh, well, I, I I understand, but it takes two to party, and uh, you know, that that's the way he he does it. I don't like it. He's the president, not not Stormy Daniels, not uh, R R Rosie O'Donnell, not anybody else he's ever had a feud with. He is the president. Well, yes, and I I would have hoped that uh, things might have changed once he was elected. That this is, is that what is this man is. Changed. A lot of us would have yeah. Yeah, liked the change. You know, and it's embarrassing. Uh, it's embarrassing. It's, it's well, just, it, it, we're the laughing stock of the world. Well, you know, we may be the laughing stock of the world, but the results that he's getting is that what the rest of the world is starting Phil, to do with that. What, what results? What great results. Uh, how about NAFTA? And and, and and not only just no, NAFTA, no, no, how no. about NATO? No, I meant to well, say, how about NATO? What he did is he replaced NAFTA with something else with a different name. I, I meant to say NATO. That's all he did. And NATO? Yeah. He says he loves NATO now. Right, because they're paying their uh, fair share. No, they haven't started and, paying and their fair share. And also the U.N., he loves uh, you know. he loves anybody that will compliment him. Not necessarily. Yes, but, necessarily. Uh, you know, he loves people that do their jobs. When you're a landlord, you want them to pay the rent, and uh, and love when they do their jobs. And if you can get away without paying them, well, he's good at that too. Yeah, maybe, you know, uh, a lot of those stories have uh, gone by the wayside. Uh, you know, because these they're contractors old. Are that they weren't getting paid. His 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 thing went bankrupt. When somebody goes bankrupt, they don't get people don't get paid. I've gotten stiff by people that have gone bankrupt. The project goes under, they go bankrupt, and I don't get paid. And it's happened four or five times over the last thirty five years. You know, it just it happens. Nothing you can do about it. Hmm. You know. Yeah. You can try and disparage him. Yes, Jeff. Jeff's, Jeff's got to say that. One time, uh, my company was going pretty lousy. I forget what happened. Some real major catastrophe in the world. And all of a sudden, all of my customers who had plenty of money just decided to be scared and not spend any money. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So I talked to, we rented the, the facilities. And I talked to the lady who ran the facilities and who owned it. And she said to me, she says, you know, she goes, I know the economy and, and these changes are killing you. But they're going to go away in about three months or six months. So don't, don't pay me for, pay me half. For the next six months. Smart. She was smart. Yeah. You know. I still know the lady. She's still making money from everybody. Right. You know, if you if you think about it, if the place remained empty for uh, a year of while they course. try to rent it, and then they had to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars in tenant improvements to get somebody in there, with the chance that that person may go down, and, and you have a proven track record, uh, I think that was very smart of her. Yeah, and it ended up that uh, we doubled the the facility. Yeah. So our rent not only went down, it ultimately doubled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Uh, well, People anyway. can make smart decisions. But the president doesn't seem to make any good yeah, decisions. In 2008, my landlord from the store uh, calls me up and he says, uh, I'll, I'll take you to lunch. And so I figured he's going to raise my rent. Okay. And uh, so uh, we go to lunch and he says, you know, business is, uh, business is uh, really hard now. And I don't want to lose you as a tenant. And he lowered my rent by 1500 a month. You know, I was only, I was paying 8000 well, I had a, I had a very so, nice thing happen to me when I was living downtown. We, we, all of a sudden the economy went into a terrible dive, if you may remember, because of the housing oh, yeah. crisis. And uh, the uh, the landlord said, "I'm not raising anybody's rent for the next two years." 
you know, which it was nice. He didn't want to see people suddenly leaving and so on. But also, I never saw a landlord do that. The landlord here would never do it to his tenants, you know. But these guys were, were pretty good about it. Yeah. Okay, I got a, an item here. This is a Trump-related item. Uh, as much as I don't want to, I'd like to get off the topic of Trump, but there's nothing else to talk about. Um, for Oh, first of all, I should bring this up. As you know, Sears has filed for bankruptcy protection. Uh, and, and they've had a hard time existing in the days of YouTube. And tonight, who was it uh, that said this? I'm trying to remember where I saw it. It was on the news somewhere in which it was brought up. Oh, yeah, yeah it was this, on, this was on Meet the Press Daily, uh, Chuck Todd. He did a whole thing about Sears going bankrupt. And he brought up the fact that Sears used to have a thing called the Sears catalog. And what was the Sears catalog? It was the Amazon. The it was the Amazon of its day. Right. Their biggest problem was they never learned how to take that and turn it into Internet. The yeah. Internet. Because no, they brick and mortared. They brick and mortared, and they also they had the Sears catalog. I don't know if you if you ordered from the Sears catalog and it was delivered to you. Yes, it yes. was okay. Mm -hmm. So really, they kind of had the model, but they never saw it. They never saw it. it, it well, they started to heavily invest in the brick and mortar stores, and uh, and and it worked at, at that time. You know, that was uh, that's the way they went. They were really ahead of their time. But when it came time to finally do the Internet, yeah, they couldn't figure it out. And they just they didn't invest in their stores and they let them go down the tubes. A lot of the stores are just, you know, horrific looking on the inside. They haven't updated anything. Right. You know, they're dingy. That's what happens. It's did, a shame. Did you, did you hear about uh, Walmart today? is uh, changing their uh, way of uh, doing business. They're opening less brick-and-mortar stores, only 11 uh, this, this coming year, and uh, they're concentrating more on Internet uh, business. So Walmart is seeing, I guess, what well, uh, Sears too, has gone through. Walmart's too late to the game already. It really is. It's too late to the party. You know, uh, uh, people like Amazon have gotten such a huge stake in it that there, there's no way they can compete against Amazon. Unless they bust Amazon up. You see, I, I got a feeling that what will eventually happen, what is it, uh, uh, Not it's not monopolies. Antitrust. Uh, yeah, antitrust. And uh, Amazon will have too much control of the market, and I believe that they'll probably get busted up. Maybe, maybe mm -hmm. not. Could be. Oh. You know. I mean, they become big. They, they did be, it to everybody else that's they, big. They, they, did become, it to they become a, mon a monopoly in a lot of ways because they did. They had a good idea. They did it, and people reacted to it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and how are you going to break up Amazon? I don't know. See, I but mean, how when, did you? How did you, they break when, up? When, when you, uh, no, when Microsoft. You, they well, didn't break up Microsoft. They, they, Surely, they, no. They, I they figure what they they did with Microsoft is they chopped it up into two pieces. Right. Uh, and part of the business, which w w went uh, one way and part of the business went another way. And they were just simply split off into two separate companies. Yeah. Kind of uh, like HP. Here, you can't do but that, that because forced. Amazon right. really only does one or two things. What are you going to chop up? You can't chop up, say, you're going to chop Amazon in half. How are you going to do that? Why? What, 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 what's the method for that? You're going to... Half of this will sell to certain people, and half of this will sell to other. You can't do it. You know, I, I, you know, because I guess what they are is they're more like a facilitator, and they facilitate sales between do, their, their products and third, third party. Right. That's the thing. The third, their products, like the Amazon Basics stuff and all that. Mm -hmm. There, a lot of, a lot of uh, manufacturers really pissed off at them for that. Yeah, I, I, I've even bought some Amazon basic stuff. My uh, a Faye's daughter is going to have I a... I buy it whenever uh, I see it. Why not? Yeah, Faye's daughter is going to have a kid. So we just bought him a, 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 you know, a car seat and a, and a carriage. Uh, and uh, they've changed since I was a kid. But, uh, uh, you know, for instance, the thing that holds my monitor... Well, since you were a kid, uh, they're a lot smaller. No, they were called prams. And they had four wheels and a, and a, and a hood, and they uh, uh, they were sort of enamel. They they were beautiful. Perambulators. Uh, they, they, 
is what they were called. Yeah. What? Perambulators. They were uh, called perambulators. Uh, yeah. Oh, Prams is that full name for them? They oh, wow. Like, Prams was the nickname for them. Yeah. Okay. And the only person who calls them Prams are the British. Oh well, uh, I guess the one that I saw a picture of me in w was a British uh, carriage. And, yeah. You know, it was, was probably black. More, and in your case, it's probably more like a truck. Yeah. Really. So, uh, where were we? I, f I forgot already. Oh, I know it's your show on Amazon. What? Huh? It's your show. We're talking about. You're yeah, talking thanks. about your kids or grandkids. Oh yeah, so I bought an Amazon Basics thing uh, for for them. I the monitor stand. I had no idea about this Amazon Basics until I started looking for certain products, and uh, I want to get one of those things that go on the desk and then raise up so you can stand up at right. your desk and still work on your computer. Well, the Amazon Basics has that too. Uh, you know, I was looking at the the name brand, and uh, I forgot uh, I forgot what they call it, but it didn't look very different than than you know, except it, it was two hundred dollars more. It, it the, eight, the Amazon one was two hundred dollars more. No, it was two hundred dollars right. less than the name so, brand. There was a really good article that I read, I think maybe about a week ago, regarding all of this Amazon basic stuff. And they have an unfair advantage in that they do these little tests of products on their on their platform. Oh yeah. And the way and, and they tweak them, they, they 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 have all of the they have all of those reviews that are on their sites and so they tweak these things and, and then they roll them out site wide. And so they have the article made it seem like they have a very an unfair advantage with this Amazon basics with their own products. Well, I also have a question about Amazon. You know, they have these things to say Amazon recommended or whatever. I yeah. What yeah. the term is. How do these people get that deal from them? Do they have I, it has to do with the reviews? No, no, there's something. Wait a minute. No, let me, this let me look th at this Amazon. is Amazon I, themselves I, I, saying this is the recommended Amazon product. But it's and based it's usually, on customer reviews. No, it, it, it might isn't be based really. on best deal, they call it. Let me let me let me look here. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, here comes Ray yeah. Renati out of nowhere. Hello, Ray Renati out of nowhere. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I'm trying to remember what they have the sponsored ads. Okay. They're they're yeah. the ones that are the sponsored products. But I'm trying to see what uh, uh, what the, the, sometimes there's something that'll be called like an Amazon uh, recommends or choice. Uh, yeah. choice. And it's, choice. Usually, it's usually the basics uh, it, product. Well, no, not always. No, not always. No? Not always. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, extended. Let me see here. I'm just trying to look to see something extended. Uh, uh, release melatonin? No, I don't want that. Extended mouse pad. What is, mm -hmm. an, what is an extended mouse pad? Oh, probably one with, uh, you can put your wrist on it. Oh, uh, let me see here. I'm just trying to see if there's something here. Here we go. Amazon Choice. Yeah, that's the term. Highly rated, well-priced products available to ship immediately. And none of them are the, uh, n none of them are, these are like, pads you know for mouse pads but uh none of these are uh, are are, are uh, amazon what's the product you call basic it? basic none of them are uh, amazon basic but it says highly rated well-priced products available to ship immediately amazon choice well how do they get that amazon choice do they have to maybe give them to amazon cheaper or something like that is maybe it's uh, guys that sit around at the amazon headquarters and say i choose this one you know? I doubt that. There's got to be some financial consideration on why they recommend something like that. Hello. Yeah. Hi, hey. Ray. I just want to say hi. Yeah. Hi. Hello, Ray. Hey, you well, heard about Dennis Hoff, right? Yeah. No. 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 What happened? He, he really? died. Oh, really? Died. Oh. oh, you must have known that. <laughs> <laughs> he busted my chops earlier on. No, I knew you had to know that. <laughs> um, yeah. He did yeah, the same so thing. I was I was uh, quite aware of his uh, passing. Oh, okay. uh, well, Costco does the same thing with what, dyes? Uh, the, Oh, with their products. You know, they have a name brand uh, that they push, Kirkland, 
Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a, a very similar to what Amazon's well, no, doing with they, their what, basics. But, but then, it's the ugliest logo on earth, though that Kirkland well, logo. Yeah, but Kirkland Kirkland has a <laughs> uh, has a function. What Kirkland is is Kirkland is always side by side with a name brand. Yeah, they uh, uh, Costco only has one name brand of everything, and then they also have the Kirkland version of it. And uh, many times, for instance, if you buy Kirkland tuna. And it's next to Starkist. Chances are, Starkist makes the Kirkland. That's right. And, and if you go, yeah, but if you go in the yeah, sorry, but no, what I was going to. If you go in the Kirkland coffee, it's Starbucks in really small print. Oh, does it say on that the, on the back? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what, but what they do is they say, however, uh, we're we're going to buy it from you, put our name on it, but we want it to be better than yours. You know, and they will make better stuff for them. Because, but they they're being paid to make it, so you know they're not losing money by doing that. Uh, yeah, I guess they win either way. Yeah. Well, I buy. So wine. do I. Yeah. And and their wine is always less expensive. Mm -hmm. But it's also not as good. They're, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're, no, well, they're, no, just they have a big. It's wine. like a generic. There are a lot of things. Uh, like uh, two buck uh, chuck. Oh, oh, well, you know they have they have very good wines uh, available as well, not just the you know the generic. Yeah, but stuff. they're not under their brand name. No, but they're supposedly less expensive. If you buy a watch or a diamond, and I've never have from Costco. I hear they're jewel. You know, I hear the diamonds are very good. I hear the they're supposed to be very good and a lot less expensive. Uh, yeah. Even though they'll have some that are sixty thousand dollars that you know are there for just the sizzle, yeah. Uh, but uh, you know they have a lot of other things, and it's it's supposedly it's just a great you don't deal. want it's just you really don't want to give your uh, person you love uh, an engagement <laughs> ring that says Kirkland on it. You have to, yeah, when you give, I've given my wife jewelry from Costco, but I learned the second time that I had to make it look like it was from somewhere else. Go online because, though. Tiffany's. Yeah. Go online the to the Costco site. You know what you can buy. Well, just about anything. You know, well, a lot of things. Oh, but coffin. Coffin. Yeah. Yeah. And also urns <laughs> as well. Uh, yeah. I just don't want to be well, buried in a coffin that says Kirkland on it. That's all. You know. Well, especially when you get two yeah. of them, they're taken yeah, together. Them, yeah. Wait a minute. Let me see here. Let me go to the Costco site. I want to see how my uh, what what they're doing with the coffins lately. Do they have sex toys? Huh. I doubt did, it. Did no, they have yeah. sex toys? Kirkland sex, Kirkland vibrators? No, but you can buy the I batteries, doubt. the Kirkland batteries for the sex toy. Oh, okay. Uh, let me yeah, they it. last longer. <laughs> coffins. <laughs> let me see here. Search for coffins. Uh, will it come up? Costco coffins? No, it doesn't well, come up. Yeah. Anymore. No, it doesn't come up anymore. Coffins. I thought they, they, they had them. C O F F I. They used to have them, yeah. I know that. Maybe it's still it may be, It might be uh, state. Uh, what you're on the website. Yeah. Um, they may not sell them in all states. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, how about the President Casket by Prime? It's only <laughs> it's only eight hundred and ninety nine bucks. And. Um, it's uh, earthworm proof? Well, uh, no, it says here to verify availability and to confirm shipping delivery time and date, please contact Prime Caskets. How soon will it be delivered? Orders placed by Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time will arrive Thursday. Well, sorry, we're Jewish. We buried him by Me, then. Yeah, two days. That's <laughs> you it. Know? Hey, you know, I bought a sofa from Costco. It was, it was easy. It was a sofa bed. Uh, I, I went online. Uh, and, you know, I just, I picked it a couple days, a couple, a week or so later, they delivered it to my door, took away the boxes. It was easy. And if I'm not happy with the thing, I just tell them and yeah, I bring it back, yeah. but I'm happy with it. You would think they would have a thing where they could do overnight shipping on a casket. Yeah, it's usually not something that you plan it really plan ahead on. Wait, does, you, does they your, should take you, it away too. You mean, where do, do they deliver it to? You, they you, deliver you, it to your funeral no, home of yeah, choice. Yeah, it says here uh, 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 to order this product, please enter the following information: shipping address at checkout, first and last name, name of the deceased. <laughs> 
uh, company name, name of the funeral home, address, address of the funeral home, or a location where the casket will be delivered, and the phone number of the funeral home. What's can the you options? Buy can you, you buy, buy more than just one? To have it? Well, what can, are the yeah. options? Can you can you can you choose the color of the interior? Uh, a a, a well, battery no, there, light. There are different. You know. There are different kinds. However, yeah. they well, don't have Halloween. they don't have something here like they have on Amazon where they say. People who bought this also bought these. <laughs> you know what, what, I love, what I love is you can specify the quantity, the number of caskets you want. I want a half a dozen caskets. If you're Jim Jones, that's very important. <laughs> oh, I just added a half dozen to my cart. Let's see. If wow. you just wanted a casket, can you buy it and have it delivered to your house? Yeah, and they'll take oh. you away, too. Here's, like, the, like here's, here's the Richmond solid wood casket. Yeah. Oh, that's seventeen hundred and ninety nine bucks. That's some expensive shit. Solid wood expense expensive. Yeah, it does say sure. quantity here, doesn't it? Yeah. Can you get additional padding? Yeah. The quantity. Additional padding. <laughs> oh, you can get urns too. Yeah, well, for you, your ashes. Oh. Yeah, you, they do have urns. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, Rob, you know, that's what you should use for the cigars. You know, you tap the ash into Yeah, the there you go. Yeah. Hey, well, I'll tell you, uh, uh, finishing off the show tonight, I, I, I really want to know what happened to you two tonight. The, the, this was something mm -hmm. massive. It was, yeah, it was worldwide uh, that it was down. When it went back up, it was very easy to get onto it. In fact, I maybe could have kept streaming it, you know, uh, all along, but I didn't. Uh, but right. anyway, so, I mean, it's it's uh, it was a massive, massive. Uh, I, I went online. It said, uh, in fact, uh, uh, YouTube on uh, Twitter. What did the world do without cat videos? <laughs> yeah, right. Go yeah. uh, to Vimeo. It wasn't mm -hmm. just you. YouTube went down worldwide, causing massive confusion. Let's see. It does. Uh, um, it doesn't say why. No, uh, they, they won't release that information. Well, somebody until they will they will come out with it eventually. Eventually, yeah. I mean, but until they, they get their story right, I mean, that's a it, huge, huge outage. I, I think what you need to do. Well, they may not know. You know, I mean, they may suspect uh, foul play. Foul play, yeah. You know, which I suspect. I mean, I, I do too. Uh, here's one uh, from ABC News: oh, Pakistan Trump. causes YouTube no, outage. that was that was couple of years ago, Phil. Yeah, well, there was oh. another one years ago. Well, uh, it was, you know, four or five no, things No, Pakistan down. years ago, a few yeah. years ago, wanted no to date. stop some kind of story about Pakistan. It wanted to do it locally in Pakistan, but unfortunately they shut down all of YouTube. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. It's like nine people in Pakistan have the Internet. They were able to shut down YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> Yeah, Osama bin Laden. Some one of, of these smaller countries have a lot more people watching YouTube than you would believe. You know, than you would think. in their caves. <laughs> well, yes, they I, have much more access to the internet than uh, their infrastructure is based on the internet and cell phones because they didn't have that infrastructure that we had, which was the copper wires and. Uh, yeah. That type of thing. So, you know, they were able to uh, adapt uh, in areas that, you know, really weren't uh, adaptable in, in our old way of doing technology. Yeah. Right. Well, we were a lot. We were probably a lot longer coming to the table on this than a lot of other countries because we were so wedded to copper cable and so on. But other, we didn't have to. We, yeah. we had infrastructure that worked. It just wasn't as efficient. It, 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 well, it was. I'll tell you. I got to tell you, it was not inefficient. You know, it was not. It was limited. The, 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 no, the phone. The phone company for the longest time was efficient. I mean, uh, and even until the closing years. I mean, we, we they started getting into the internet age. They had uh, uh, what is it? DSL, uh, uh, Rob. Yeah, DSL. Yeah, DSL. ISDN. 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 I had an ISDN line. I had a DSL line. So they were still with copper. They were still doing it. You know, they just couldn't get the high speeds. And now we're going to 5K. 
Um, uh, I, I had a partial DSL, uh, not DSL. I had a partial ISDN line at one time, mm -hmm. and I could swear to you that I think it was faster than what I have now, which is DSL at the store. No, ISDN, ISDN is uh, great for voice. Uh, but I, yeah, but it, well, ISDN was. But it was only, a partial. It, yeah, I no, didn't have the ISDN whole... only went up to about eighty megabits per second or something like that. But, uh, so but uh, uh, old uh, technology, though, it's yeah. nobody uses ISDN anymore. 5G, well, though. Alex uh, says uh, this. Uh, radio radio used it at the radio station. No. Yeah. I found out now that Walter Sabo, even with his show coming out of Cleveland, is using the Internet. There's an Internet yeah, really. program you can use to hook up to a radio signal. So. Right. Yeah. Hey, listen, we've run out of time here. Uh, what a joyful you night it has been. Yeah, see you Thursday. Maybe Friday. Why don't you take another night off? You know? Hey, I'll be happy to. Why don't, you, why don't you take the next month off, huh? Maybe. All right. You know, that'd be good. See you after the midterms? Yeah, see you after yeah. the midterms. <laughs> right. <laughs> see you in 2020. Yeah, yeah, right. Anyway, we'll see you on Thursday, Phil. That's Phil take Meyer. Uh, that's Jeff Stein. That's Ray Renati, who just joined us at the last yeah. moment here, but we love seeing him anyway. Scott Boddicker, you better be here tomorrow night, okay? Otherwise, God will not be good to you. Might yeah, be able to get a word in edgewise then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, give a call out to Tom Yamaguchi. You yeah. know, write him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so and, and thank you, Rob. Why don't all of you give a big, uh, big wave goodbye to our studio audience, okay? That's our citizens panel for tonight, folks. And let me get rid of them finally. I just dump them unceremoniously by turning off the uh, uh, the internet uh, or, or Skype. Okay, there we go. There we're at. Okay, we're taking care of. Hey, listen, the uh, the intersection is next with uh, Jack Bruce Bishop, and then at uh, one o'clock this morning, Eastern Daylight Time, it's Connections, and then. Uh, tomorrow night at 8.30, it's our sports show. They only do it once a week called The Arena with the Franchise MC. And at 9.30, we got Damien Chaplin with The Exchange. I'll be here tomorrow night. 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>